Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu Luxon Explained. Heute zum Thema Hello and welcome to Luxon Explained. Today's topic is Exosphere. My name is Markus Dulgier and today I have Mario Zeller with me. Today we will look at how we can use Exosphere simply and efficiently. Exosphere is the tool you can use to manage and operate large fleets of mini servers as well as large complex projects optimally. Genau in unserem Fall. Exactly. In our case, we also use it here at our Luxon campus. We manage the entire building, monitor the system status, track energy data, and so on, where we can really use it efficiently and get a good overview of the entire building. But today we start from the very beginning. We look at how to add the first mini server to an Exosphere workspace and how to configure and use Exosphere's key features optimally. To do that, we'll switch directly to the Exosphere portal. When we've created a new workspace, our Exosphere interface looks like this. Still quite empty. Now, to connect the first mini server to Exosphere, I click on the big green button in the middle that says Add mini server and can choose whether I want to directly pair the mini server or just add it to Exosphere without pairing. The pairing option has the advantage that I'll see the system status messages directly in Exosphere and also receive data. Without pairing, this won't happen. I will pair it and Exosphere then shows me a provisioning code in the center. This is the code I need to connect the mini server to Exosphere via the Luxon config. I copy it by clicking this button, then we switch to Luxon config. Here, under network peripherals, I can add a new Exosphere workspace. There is no restriction on how many workspaces the mini server can be part of. What's very important here, you can already see the column where you'll paste the provisioning code and very importantly, Exosphere always requires a user through which Exosphere and the mini server can communicate. This user has a certain set of rights. In our case, we've already created a user. Let's quickly check which rights this user needs. So. So in our case, this user has system notification rights, of course, to display system details, system info, and so on in Exosphere. Additionally, all rooms and, very importantly, also the backup and update rights. Why? Because we can perform automated backups and updates from Exosphere. But, of course, the user also needs the corresponding rights for that. So exactly. Now we finish the configuration on the Luxon config side. We paste the provisioning code into the properties window, save the project file and save it to the mini server. Then we can switch back to the Exosphere portal and after a few moments our mini server will appear here. Blicken taucht hier dann unser mini server auf. Exosphere now fetches all the information about the project file and mini server in the background and we can start configuring everything from the Exosphere side. So now we can click on our mini server here and we'll be taken to the central overview for this mini server. In our case you can see here last backup, of course non available yet because we haven't done one. In this menu you can choose whether to perform an automatic backup or not and you can also manually trigger a backup of the mini server if needed. Und man kann auch wenn man will, sofort eine Sicherung des Miniservers auslösen. Genau. It's very important, you need to enable this switch here, so that the Miniserver is automatically backed up. Normally, this happens at night between 1 and 2 a.m. Um 2 Uhr. Das gleiche. The same or very similar settings can be made for updates. For updates, it's important to note we have our three update levels here, which allow you to update the mini server. We recommend the release version. If you want to be a little more up to date, you can also use the beta or alpha versions. Here too, as Marcus mentioned earlier, you need to enable the switch in the backup right so that the mini server can pull the automatic update. Damit der mini -Server das automatisch updaten darf. So, in, in large fleets, it can happen that all mini servers are updated at the same time. You can customize the time and scope of the settings for that. Werden. Dort kann man das dann etwas individualisieren. Um, den Zeitpunkt und auch das Ausmaß der Einstellungen. 
Dazu to do this, I go into the workspace settings and here in the middle I can adjust the backup, update and notification settings. Let's take a look at that. So, here können wir Here we can make some settings. As you can see, these are the central settings that apply across the entire workspace for backups and updates. In our case, we are in backup mode. We can set logs, secure statistics, choose the backup interval and define the time when we want the backup to happen. Wie oft das Backup gezogen wird und wir können auch die Zeit definieren, wenn wir das Backup haben möchten. Additionally, it's possible to automatically perform a backup after a configuration change. I'll save it here and we'll leave it as it is. We want a daily backup. Lass es so stehen. Wir möchten ein tägliches Backup machen. Ganz wichtig. Also important to note, the same can be done for updates. Here you can also set the time and you can standardize this for the entire workspace and monitor it. Überwachen. Genau. Damit haben wir jetzt schon With that, we've already covered the core settings to further automate the maintenance and operation of the mini-server. In, in large workspaces, you'll naturally work as a team. We can also control that in the settings section. Haben wir da im Einstellungsbereich die Möglichkeit uh, zu steuern. Um, hier here I can invite more colleagues to the team under users. Right now, I'm the only one in the workspace. Mario, I will invite you now. I click on Invite User at the top right. Rechts oben auf Benutzer einladen. Alle Benutzer All users in an Exosphere workspace need a Loxon account. That's the basic requirement. I'll enter the username here in the text field and now I can choose in an enterprise workspace which rights apply to which area. In einem sogenannten Enterprise Arbeitsbereich noch auswählen welche Rechte in welchem Bereich angewandt werden. Das ist ein wichtiger This is an important difference between Pro and Enterprise, the two versions of Exosphere. With Pro workspaces, the same rights are applied across the entire workspace, while in an Enterprise workspace, rights can be applied more individually. We'll show you that briefly. Wir zeigen euch das kurz. Wenn wir jetzt auf unseren Luxon Campus If we now go to our Luxon Campus, I can now under the user I want select which areas of the campus structure they are allowed to access. Möchte, ich nehme mir jetzt einen raus. Kann ich jeden Bereich im Strukturbaum des Campus einzeln berechtigen? Wenn If I want the user to only have access to a specific area, not the entire workspace, I can grant them access to just this specific area as a viewer, creator or administrator. And these rights apply to the entire workspace, meaning they affect the mini servers, all dashboards and other visualizations you've created, as well as the project files you've stored in Exosphere. Sicherungen, die man angelegt hat und auch für die Projektdateien, die man ja in Exosphere sichern kann. Genau. Gut. Now that I've received the invitation from Marcus, I've joined the workspace. As you can see here, I'm now in the workspace. Now it's time for me to add my mini server as well. Zeit, dass ich meinen mini server auch hinzufüge. Ich würde jetzt wieder einen mini server hinzufügen. In I'll go ahead and add a mini server again. This time I'll follow the steps we did before. Save the provisioning code. Speicher den Provisionierungscode. Weg. Switch to config. Weg. Find my mini server. Suche die Netzwerk Peripherie. Füge mir. Add Exosphere under Network Peripherals. Weiteres Exosphere hinzu. Füge dem Provisioning. Paste the provisioning code. Select my user and save it. Und speichere dies rein. After a short time, just like before, the mini server will come online and be added. In the background, as Mario described, the process is running that connects the mini server. In my case, we now already see the two mini server positions on the map below. These positions are based on the geometric data entered in the config. Nachdem, wie man in der Config die ähm, Daten aus dem geometrischen Datenermittlungen we are now back at our campus workspace. A quick note on the mini server structure. The mini server structure is about how areas are linked together. This is important for various reasons, such as permissions, backups, updates, and so on. Auf der einen Seite die Berechtigungen, auf der anderen Seite die Backups und die Updates und so weiter. Wir haben hier. We have many different areas here at the campus. 
technology, technical rooms, mini servers in the ventilation rooms, hotel rooms, which in our case are 82, general areas including the auditorium, wellness areas, glorious bastards and so on. Wellness Bereich, Global Bastards and so weiter darunter fällt. Und hier, and here you can click on the three dots on the left to adjust the individual settings for each area, such as updates, backups and so on. Anpassen. Unter anderem eben Update, Backup und so weiter. Weiters kann Additionally, with the user, I can define exactly which areas they are allowed to see and what rights they have, always from bottom to top. Welche Bereiche hat er welche Rechte? Immer von unten nach oben aufsteigend. Ein weiterer ganz, ganz wichtiger Another very important aspect of Exosphere is project management and password management. In our case, I now store my mini-server project here in Exosphere. Meinen Mini-Server, mein Projekt hier in Exosphere speichern. Dazu wechsle ich ganz einfach in die Config, sage Hey, ich to do that, I switch to config, say, hey, I want to store my mini-server passwords in Exosphere, go to store in Exosphere workspace, click on connect, and now it asks where I want to store my passwords and so on. In our case, it's the Luxon Explained workspace. Please note, you set a master password here, which encrypts all passwords in the workspace. Please keep this password safe, as it can cause issues if lost. Bitte gut aufheben, da das sonst zu kleineren Problemen führen kann. Genau, vielleicht kurzer Hinweis. Just a quick note. Since the passwords and access data are end-to-end -end encrypted, we cannot recover the master password or any stored passwords. You can only delete everything and set it up again. Man kann dann nur alles löschen und neu anlegen. In my case, I create a password. Speichere. Save it. And now my passwords from my mini server are directly stored in Exosphere. You can also store the project file in Exosphere. Simply click Save As. And here I can choose whether to save it directly to my PC or in my workspace. I click Save As and it will be saved. Speichern unter und diese wird gespeichert. We switch back to Exosphere. Here you can already see my config file is stored here. Very interesting and important. You can see if someone is currently using the config file. This is very important for a larger company or even at our campus, so we know if someone is currently working with or using this config. The log icon indicates that. Also, you can see exactly when it was last changed and saved. I could download it from here or open it directly in Luxon Config and so on. Von hier aus auch direkt in der Luxon Config diese Datei öffnen und so weiter. Now we've looked at the basic settings of Exosphere in detail. Let's dive a bit deeper into the mini server overview. What can this do and what does it show? Was kann diese alles? Was wird hier alles ausgesagt und angezeigt? For example, with our two mini-servers that are added, we see the blue heart. A blue heart, as always, is an info. In this case, it's about updates. Were the update successful today for my mini-server? I can acknowledge this info in the list and it will also be acknowledged directly on the mini-server. Quittieren, diese wird dann auch direkt am mini-server quittiert. Weiters kann ich Additionally, I can Oh, now we have a critical system message for the company Trigo. I can create a new task from this system message and assign this task to a colleague or a facility technician. Then they will be notified via email that they have a new task including the priority. Dieser wird dann über eine E-Mail darüber informiert, dass er eine neue Aufgabe gekriegt hat, inklusive der Priorität. I can define the completion time. In my case, I'll say this must be completed by December 20th if the billing is on fire. I can save it and the task will be created. Good. Good. Further, we can see that the task we just created for the mini server appears in the list here. It's clear that there is an open task. Also, when you think about larger projects, you can view all the notifications in the system by going to System and showing them in a list, including timestamps and so on. In the entire system, anstehen, anzeigen in einer Liste, inklusive Zeitstempel und und und. Good. Good, that's it for the major points I wanted to cover. I think we're at the end. Markus, thank you and see you next time. Bye bye. So, eigentlich am Ende angekommen sind. Markus, vielen Dank. Und Danke auch. bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal.